Hello everyone and welcome back to Virginia. I am Exorf and we are on top of what I believe is a water tower. Um, I don't know exactly what we're doing here, but we have been looking for Maria for a while and haven't found her because we got her locket back. Um, but uh, she she's pissed at us for discovering that we're investigating her, which is understandable. Uh, so let's uh, see what's up here. And here's Maria. That is great. I kind of want to go the other way around. Just because I could. Uh, but it was blocked off, so maybe you actually can't. Oh, okay, you can't. <laughs> oh. What have you... Oh, is this where we were um, grabbing some beers last time? So that's why we realized that she might be here, I guess. We grabbed some, uh, had a beer after visiting the roadhouse. Come on. I'm sorry about this. Maybe we should uh, just throw it away. I don't know. I don't know if I would trust that. But, uh, Maybe she does. The LSD? Why does she have that envelope? That key was... I don't actually know. So... Huh. How did she end up with that uh, envelope? I don't know. And uh, it's Saturday, the final day. All right, so we are getting there. And we have the broken key again. I'm wondering if it's like entirely symbolic at this point. Is that a uh, cord? Is he actually in my bedroom? Or... Is he just a dream? <laughs> Is he trying to re remind us? Oh, someone really wants to get in. He's trying to remind us that we are an FBI agent and should be doing our job. Anything around here? No. Okay. Just wondering why it would open. Which usually isn't the case. Why is everything open? Has someone been in here? Rummaging around our stuff? Oh. Hello, tapped. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is probably not very good. And there's Maria. And they are, they are all the players, major players of the, I'm assuming, conspiracy we got going on here. Uh, I really like that the photo in, um, in Judith's investigation room, or Maria's room, I'm not actually sure. Uh, was of uh, cord and it had a bunch of like lines or um, strings attached to it like drawn to other places where that we couldn't actually read or anything but um, that uh, probably means that he's the spider in the web so to say hmm we're just waiting the final day out. Huh, so they didn't take that from us. It feels like it's like just appearing sort of in convenient locations, which is why I'm thinking maybe it's uh, symbolic rather than uh, actually being a thing but then again we had that moment in the intro where we used that key to lock a box but that could also be symbolic of course what what you're just letting us out how come okay guess uh 
Cord wanted us out. Is that the file that we threw out? Or what? And uh, we got our job back, maybe? Did we, like, throw Maria under the bus? Hold on a second. Oh, there's the red bird again. And the key. Okay, I am entirely confused at this point. We've been playing having poker night here. Am I dreaming again? About what could have been if we didn't uh, turn traitor. Oh. These are all like new characters too. I don't think we've seen them before. Uh, can I actually play? And just drink some beer. Have some fun with the uh, other agents, I guess. Hmm. And we are getting... Oh, and now we have to investigate another uh, person. And uh, we are not liking what we are becoming, I guess. Senior special agent. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling like this is probably a what-if uh, sequence. Rather than... Um, Rather than what actually happens. Uh, what the hell is he doing to us? Supervisor is getting com promotions all over the place as we are throwing more and more people under the bus. Oh, but yeah, I'm not buying this at all. It feels like, yeah, there's no way this is what's actually happening. Right? This would be a very odd ending to the game. Are we now getting his seat? Indeed. <laughs> Where there is supervisor of... Or even more than supervisor since that was the last promotion we got. Hey, want I have my old job? Enjoy. <laughs> He's not suspecting anything. And I believe this is the first time we've seen us ourselves smoke. Which I guess is something you do when you turn into a supervillain. And the key again. So we're keeping the key. All throughout all these years. Missing persons. Oh, we never sold that uh that case. Yeah, there's there's too many loose strings. There's no way that this is actually what's what's happening. Unless we're like actually going way into the future and meeting up with everyone and trying to solve it years later. But that seems like, like an odd turn of events. Oh, we never got a chance to give that back. Yeah, kind of figured. I 
I'm pretty convinced by now that that's her mother. Uh, given that she, uh, Judith got her job in like 68 and such. I don't know the age of these people or anything, so, so I might be completely off, uh, off track there. Uh, but, but no, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's not the case. Can we do something here? Can I find a way to escape this place? <laughs> We're gonna take LSD to, uh, to escape. That seems like a very odd solution to this problem. I'm not sure I understand this idea at all. Uh, okay, whatever you say. This is a rather odd, like, LC hallucination as well, <laughs> but okay. Goodbye, Maria. We are heading into our own brain for a moment. A couple of hours. This is so odd. I have no idea how this is supposed to help us in any way. Unless it's some sort of super LSD that it helps you solve cases. Uh, probably want to go in there, right? Not up there again. And fall down to our death. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know why we decided to, like, crawl all the way to the, up that tree and fall down. Since that seems like the worst place to try to break in there. Okay. Now we're moving on. It's interesting since Maria actually saw the bird the first time, so it doesn't feel like it can be a, a hallucination or anything. It has to be, actually be a real thing, but then again, real things can also be symbolic, you know? Uh, that bird feels very symbolic, like, it obviously doesn't have anything real to do with the case. But I'm very bad with symbolism. <laughs> I'll try to, to figure it out, though. Like, I'm, I'm writing down all the places where it actually appears and such to, to try to, um, try to get an idea of what's going on. And where is this taking us? Oh. Now the... The rocks are beginning to move a bit, but maybe that's just inside of the... No, I think everything is moving a bit. And again, we're not even in a real place right now, so... Of course, everything can be moving and be weird. We're gonna go, go into the Air Force Base. I'm kind of curious about what's on the other side there. Oh. What is that? Who is that? Is that the face of the statue with the chained hands? Maybe. But, yeah, I don't know. I never... Since the focus was all on the chains on the hands, I never uh, got a good look on the face of the statue. Okay. Uh, I think we saw this door in one of our dream sequences, didn't we? Uh, like when the buffalo was right next to our bed. A door like this opened. And on the other side is just darkness, apparently. I mean, oh. The title screen of the game does say, press enter to take a trip, so... Yeah, yes, that's what we're doing now. What the fuck is going on? 
<laughs> I think I might be giving up on actually making sense of all of this. Why do I care so much about the buffalo? Why is anything happening right now? I seem to remember Twin Peaks also turning into this weirdness uh, toward the end. Like a lot of running through weird dream sequences and uh, like red velvet rooms and such. Don't you break my ship! Hartley, that's his first name. I don't believe we've seen that before. I don't actually know how he fits into all of this yet. I just need the proper uh, height level, insert exact change in quarters, sit back, hold pose. Okay, so I guess we're just trying to kind of take some sort of ID photo. But it's not actually us doing it, it's uh, the politician, the bring home the bacon guy. Okay. Why are you so sad? I don't rightly know. Susan. Hmm. No, I don't know who that is. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, once again, we... It wasn't us, actually. It was someone else. And, uh... A manager. A younger-looking a manager? Or... Just a less promoted a, a manager? Hey there. Yeah, who are we now? That was Cord. So are we Cord again then? Or are we someone else? Let's eat. Ew, peace. That's the worst. I'm gonna go through the piece one P at a time. Uh, yes, we were him. And he's also very sad. But... I think we are ourselves now. Yeah, we are. I recognize that uh, jacket. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Is that when he disappears? But, hmm. Why would he, uh, care that much about, um, oh, who is that even? They killed it. They killed it.
Did we take off our face there? <laughs> oh, God. Sorry if I'm not making much sense at the moment. Uh, I'm not really following along here. It's a bit frustrating because I feel like this is about to tie up loose ends. And I don't really understand most of it. <laughs> Uh, who's this? Is this why we uh, were so affectionate? Oh, okay. Now we're getting the key. This is this why we were so affectionate when we uh, touched the bed in Maria's apartment? I'm assuming that that bed was belonged to um, Judith. Okay, so we're finally figuring out some stuff about our own past, I guess. And now we're probably going to be unlocking that box. So maybe that's what we were doing. We weren't actually locking the box. We were actually unlocking it. Oh, okay. So it didn't be... Or is it opening now? Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, we saw this in an earlier dream. And the bird was inside. Um. So it, at least it's all coming together in some sense. Like, we're getting some idea of why these images have been appearing. But what what is it that we're burning, though? That I do not know. Like, at all. Or are we actually going to go through with it? Seems like it. Yeah. So what was it? I need to know. I need to know. And we got a crack face on the bird. Yeah. Oh, is this inside the observatory? Was that like the private event? That could explain some things. And they're all like in the observatory waiting for the aliens or something like that. That might not be it, but... Or maybe it is. Though, no, again, we are just dreaming now and we... Or rather tripping. So we do not actually know. Is that going to be uh, Lucas? Is that how he disappeared? Because he got abducted by aliens? Oh, is that Judith? That is totally Judith, isn't it? I recognize the uh, flat top of her head. Hey. Where are you going? Oh man, I don't know what to trust at this point. Like, at all. Oh, but that key. Oh, goddammit. We get a chance finally to... ...to see what it was, but we didn't actually get to see look inside the box. We don't really know who our... I guess it was our father, who he was, or anything, so there's no clue as to what it could have been. Where are we heading now?
back to Washington. I believe that's the, where the FBI headquarters are. That would make the most sense, at least. Um, this Lucas? Hey! Okay, not picking him up then. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, god damn it. Okay. <laughs> yet it was Virginia. Oh, man. Kind of just want to enjoy the. Um... Oh! <laughs> to Brendan Chang in his game, the 30 Flights of Loving for its inspiration illuminates his work. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned 30 Flights of Loving earlier as uh, a game that's kind of similar to this. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, I kind of want to you know, experience this music because I really fucking love the music of this game. That's definitely one of the high points of the whole thing. That as well as how they just sort of put the scenes together visually and such. And uh, yeah, I do frame everything in uh, such a really cool way. Oh man, there must have been a lot of animation work going into this, which, uh, oh, they only had one production baby? Oh. Yeah, it's a bit annoying that I don't actually know how all this play comes together now. Um, I was kind of hoping that I would be able to figure it out, because I... Um, like with the Dark Souls 3 lore, I've been putting together a big, like, mind map of everything, how everything fits together. And, uh, you know, I'll actually try to, after this, um, keep building on it based on all of these visions that we got doing the, during the LSD trip. But, I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm not very good with, um, symbolic things. Uh, like figuring out uh, figuring that stuff up and uh, it's also like tricky since none of this is reliable when we're actually tripping I don't actually know what which parts of these things happened for real and uh, what only happened uh, in like our own minds so hmm and, I mean, it's kind of weird since... So the game ends with... It, it, the game essentially ends with us taking LSD and then keeping on being imprisoned, I guess? Uh, so everything that happens is just happening in our head and it's... This kind of means that we... I guess you could see it as... Um, the things that you're experiencing, uh, like, oh, you see, um, you see the priest and uh, the redhead in uh, the priest's office uh, getting photographed. And you can see that as you sort of putting things together while uh, tripping on the LSD. Um, but then, like, them showing aliens and such, and then them not showing aliens, and the red light when we headed into the Air Force base that we never got an answer to is probably... I'm guessing you're not supposed to be able to put it all together in a, in a super logical way or anything like that. I'm guessing you're mostly supposed to like go with it and uh, try to figure things out through the symbolism. But yeah, it was uh, Virginia. Huh. I don't really know what to say, but I really thought it was a really cool game. And I'm very happy to have seen it through to the end. Um, I'm very happy to just sort of accidentally finding the trailer. Uh, though I've, I've seen some mentions of the game throughout, uh, all over Twitter and such. Um, like it's not, it doesn't seem to uh, that like it's been huge or anything. Um, but, but it does seem to have, uh, left 
a slight mark at least um, with with some people. Like I've seen some, uh, I think I've seen some uh, stuff on Vice as well as on Rock Paper Shotgun. Uh, I haven't read anything though because I'm trying to stay away from uh, spoilers. Um, so, I, so I probably would have like found out about the game anyway, um, but I'm not sure I would have noted it, so to say, if I um, if I hadn't seen that trailer and realized how how cool it was looking. And I mean, yeah. It, Freaking crazy how how they managed to put all of this together without any voice acting. Like that's beyond astounding. <laughs> oh just um and it and it all like made sense still. Well obviously that makes sense in that I can figure it all out, but <laughs> um but but it it you can you got what what most of it was trying to say. Um, even without them saying anything, which is, yeah, really cool. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that was Virginia, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time in whatever game we're playing next Wednesday. Bye-bye!